This is edition 5 of FAD Weekly. If you like what you see, then please subscribe and like us and spread the word and the link. This week to Amy Devers in Helsinki and a fashion focus from the Finnish capital. The forms and fashions of a city tell us much about a culture. And what of the people who create and live within them? These super organized Scandinavians are known for fresh food, dynamic design, and having women in charge. Is this utopia? No, it's Finland. For fashion in Finland, it has to be Mari Mekko. These simple, powerful graphic images and bright colors are a design signature known the world over. Well, Marmekko is kind of an attitude to life, a very positive attitude to life, which is full of colors, patterns. It was established in 1951 to bring, well, joie de vivre to people's everyday lives. When you think about the world in the early 1950s, it was it looked pretty gray. So um, the colors and patterns are kind of Marmekko's way to to bring joy to the everyday lives of people. The company recently celebrated its 60th birthday in style. Marmekko was started by a married couple, uh, Armi and Viljo Ratia. And Armi Ratia, the woman, she was the big visionary and the creative force behind the brand. And she had asked some of her friends, um, aspiring designers, to create avant-garde prints, something totally different from that time. And then the couple, they had noticed that people had been admiring the fabrics but they didn't quite know how to use them. So they decided to organize a fashion show in Helsinki just to show people how to use the fabrics to make clothing. So it started from there, but it very soon started to broaden into a bigger uh, lifestyle concept. It's said to be one of the first lifestyle brands in the world. At Marimekko HQ in Helsinki, a new team of designers are responsible for keeping the brand relevant and yet respectful of its heritage. We had all these uh, great designs like from the from the 50s, 60s, 70s, so I could use them and redo the works as you know, as nowadays in the clothing the prints have to be a bit smaller and maybe less brightful and all that. I found this quite interesting. My favorite design is probably the most known Marleneko design of all time, which is the Unico, uh, the poppy flower print. The founder, Armi Ratia, had strictly forbidden all the designers from creating floral prints because she felt that flowers would be much more beautiful always in nature and they should keep, keep in the nature. But then Maya Isola, the most known Marmekko designer of all time, who's created over 500 patterns uh, for Marmekko, she didn't care about the restrictions and she wanted to show uh, how she saw floral prints and then something um, as modern and graphic as Unico when she showed that to, to the founder Armi Ratia, uh, the founder fell in love with it and took it into, into the collections. That was in 1964 and it's now the most popular Marmekko print of all time. Finnish fashion is always, it's always been very clean line and very sort of like architecture in a way, it's, it's quite it's clean cut, but now nowadays it's changing. The new generation is more, more wild and more, more you could even say messy in a way. You know? But as a Marimekko, I think the print is the first thing, and then the, I keep it really clean line. As part of FAD destination Helsinki, you're going to need somewhere to stay, and if you want something which is really uniquely local, it has to be Klaus K. We take our inspiration from Kalevala, which is. Finland's national epic. It's a genesis story. It's really the beginning of life. It's a, a mix of mythology and reality. So basically, your everyday fable. What part of the, f the story does the reception reflect? Actually, this is the egg, which is uh, really significant in Kalevala. The egg is really the beginning of everything. And one thing that we wanted to show a lot of is the nature and the use of nature throughout the whole space. Ultra fine wood panels that are designed in Finland, manufactured in Finland. Then we also show some raw birch, which is also something that you would see if you just took a walk in the forest. Finnish design is precise and it involves nature. And it's amazing to see how Finnish designers have been able to combine the two. Headquarters for Helsinki Art is Kayazma. Designed by American Stephen Hall, this landmark is appreciated by local architects and locals alike. Great interior spaces allowed the presentation of a wide variety of art installations. 
And in those long northern winters, here's an idea of how to brighten up the home. Arik is a company that was founded 75 years ago by uh, Alvaralto. And uh, from the very beginning, it has been a very modern, modern company with a uh, design that uh, represents the nature of Finnish people. But at the same time, it has been a very international company from the very beginning. Then there is a, a tea trolley he designed in 36, uh, which is something that uh, everyone here in Finland wants to have. The stool that is a very simple piece of furniture, and actually that stool was uh, chosen to be the most copied design furniture in the world. And of course, tank stool, stool number 400 in zebra fabric, that is a dream of everyone. So if you look how strong the wood is, and still looking very light, so that is a craftsmanship that is very seldom to be found. So I think this is a, this piece is, it's my favorite. It's beautiful. Next week on FAD Weekly, Li Lin travels to Los Angeles and to a spectacular private Malibu residence from rising architectural stars Johnston Markley. This is FAD Weekly, the very best in global fashion, art and design.